So relapse myeloma has to be looked at on three different pillars. You've got to look at the patient and find out what they would want to have. It is not inconceivable to think that there are some patients out there who have multiple other comorbidities and prefer not to have any further treatment. So it's important to take their perspective into account because what you're really doing is to committing them to months, if not years of therapy with in a relapse disease situation. So it's important to take the patient's aspect. And that's where this whole oral versus intravenous or parenteral option becomes important because they want to visit hospitals less in this situation. So there's the patient aspect, looking at their comorbidities, looking at what they want, looking at all their uh, comorbidities from previous treatment, all has to be taken into account. Then there is the disease option. Uh, where you look at the interactional staging system, you look at uh, how good uh, their kidney function is, you also look at their genetics and then make some rational choices based on that. And the third aspect is actually going through their treatment schema and finding out what treatments they have had, what could they have uh, potentially ha have resistance against and what are the new agents that we could come up with. So those are three different pillars that you've got to reflect on when you choose the right treatment option for your patients.